by which they have made you glad. Psalm chapter 45 verse 8 Who are those privileged to make the Savior glad? His church, his people. But is it possible? He makes us glad, but how can we make him glad? By our love. We think our love for him is so cold, so faint, and so, indeed, we must sorrowfully confess it to be, but it is still very sweet to Christ. Hear his own eulogy of that love in the golden canticle. How fair is your love, my sister, my spouse. How much better than wine is your love. See, loving heart, how he delights in you. When you lean your head on his bosom, you not only receive joy, but you also give him joy. When you gaze with love upon his all-glorious face, you not only obtain comfort, but impart delight. Our praise gives him joy too, not the song of the lips alone, but the melody of the heart's deep gratitude. Our gifts are very pleasant to him too. He loves to see us lay our time, talents, and possessions upon the altar, not for the value of what we give, but for the sake of the motive from which the gift springs. To him the lowly offerings of his saints are more acceptable than the thousands of gold and silver. Holiness is like frankincense and myrrh to him. Forgive your enemy and you make Christ glad. Distribute your possessions to the poor and he rejoices. Be the means of saving souls, and you give him to see of the travail of his soul. Proclaim his gospel, and you are a sweet savour unto him. Go among the ignorant and lift up the cross, and you have given him honour. It is in your power even now to break the alabaster box, and pour the precious oil of joy upon his head, as did the woman of old, whose memorial is to this day set forth wherever the gospel is preached. Will you be reluctant then? Will you not perfume your beloved Lord with the myrrh and aloes and cassia of your heart's praise? Yes, you, ivory palaces, you shall hear the songs of the saints to their Lord. Amen.